presented by Cottonwood Media. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, and we are going to go through and make some picks heading into the weekend. We'll get into Thursday Night Football. We'll cover Game 5 of the World Series and uh, throw in a little special, uh, what I'm going to call the cycle string of bets. A little little three-way action. Let's get into it, huh? Tomorrow is Eagles versus the Texans? Eagles-Texans. Okay. I am... This is a throwaway game. We're going to pick it because it's Thursday night. We got 13 and a half. Over under 45 and a half. Look, I don't, I don't know. However you slice it and dice it, I'm taking Eagles minus 13 and a half, and we're going to... I think we're going to take the under on this. Unless the Eagles score all 45 on their own, I don't see this happening. I think Houston's offense is abysmal. I think the Eagles will... I think they'll slow it down a little bit. I mean... What, last week they won 35-13? That's 48. What a covered. I don't know. The Texans' defense is bad. I think this just turns into hand the ball off for the Eagles by the time the second half kicks off. So I'm taking Eagles minus 13.5 and, and the under 45.5. It's going to be just a whomping across the board. Um, and tomorrow... Also, coinciding with the Eagles playing, it's a big day for Philadelphia, okay? Astros, Phillies, Game 5. Today, the Astros had a combined no-hitter. First one in postseason history, huh? So, <clears throat> I am going to present to you now the, the psycho string of bets that I would like to place on this. Everyone on earth is going to sell you the Philly special. You could pick the Eagles. You could pick the Phillies. And on Friday, the 76ers are playing the Knicks. So I'm going to present you the opposite. <laughs> we're going to call this the... Well, we'll call this uh, anti-Philly plus one. Yeah, that's 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 a we're gonna go with that. And here's what I'll here's what I'm presenting to you. You take Astros in game five to take a three two lead in the series. I have Astros winning in six. I think they well for my for my health and well being they need to win tomorrow. But I got Astros money line, just straight up Astros. Friday, I'm, t I'm taking the Knicks. Versus the 76ers. Um, I don't know what the spread on that is, but I, I'm taking the Knicks straight up. It does not matter. Knicks straight up. And then the plus one is we are going to take the Eagles minus 13 and a half. I might, I might be psycho, but I'm not stupid. I don't, I do not. 13 and a half is a huge number, but... They are the Texans, so we're not going to do that, okay? Not doing that. So mark that down. Phillies to lose to the Astros. So Astros Astros and Eagles tomorrow, excuse me. And then we are going to take the Knicks straight up on Friday. And that will push us right into the weekend where I have lined up, I think, some sleeper picks in the NFL. Maybe some underrated picks here, okay? I am going to take the Colts plus five and a half against the New England Patriots. Uh, the New England Patriots have a pretty average run defense given up, you know, 120 plus yards a game. The Colts have not ran the ball well this year. Um, I think this is a game where Naheem Hines is gone. Jonathan Taylor is going to round back into form. They have 
you know, but they're starting Sam Ellinger for his second start. We're not asking him to throw a bunch. We're asking him to hand the ball off a bunch. On the flip side of that, I don't think Mac Jones is that good. So I, anytime you're going to give me five and a half against him, I'm going to take it. So I like the Colts here plus five and a half. Uh, should be favorable. The next one I have, uh, Detroit Lions at Green Bay Packers. The Lions are only getting three and a half. But historically, the Packers do not lose to the Lions. But they don't always just crush them. Uh, I like the Lions here, plus three and a half. I think if this turns into a, a shootout, I don't know what Aaron Rodgers does. I think the Lions are going to, as they've done the last few weeks, go heavy, heavy run. I think we're going to get Swift the ball. I think we're going to get Williams the ball. Um, Amon is back, healthy looking. So I think he matches up favorably against that Packers defense. And for all the haters and losers, my man Goff is cooking. Okay. We just need the Lions defense and offense to line up and they will They'll take this game. So I'm going to take the Lions plus three and a half here. I like that pick a lot. I would put that one in the bank. My final kind of sneaky pick. <laughs> taking the Jags plus one and a half on the Raiders. Uh, last week, the Raiders forgot who their best player was. Uh, Devontae Adams getting one catch for three yards. Uh, and Jacksonville coming off uh, a trip to London. I don't know. It's kind of bad. But the Broncos defense is definitely way better than the Raiders defense. So I'm taking Jacksonville plus one and a half here. <clears throat> I like I like Etienne Jr. I like him a lot. Um the Raiders give up over 100 rush yards a game, and he could go for 150. Can't wait. So in recap, we're taking Colts 5.5, we're taking Lions 3.5 versus the Packers, and we're taking the Jags 1.5 versus the Raiders. Okay. Uh, as as uh, the season continues, we'll toss in some more picks. I might I might show you all uh, how I pick every game for Sunday. Uh, I'm rocking a ninety plus percent success rate on that. So uh, let me know if you want to see more picks or just uh, kind of fun one off picks and the psycho string we all put together every week. Okay, uh, as always. I am the captain, a.k.a. the king of the grove, a.k.a. your favorite host's favorite host. Until next time, see ya.